For years, the lower Shabeli region has been the epicenter of the conflict in southern Somalia. The latest attack on African Union troops comes just the day after a major conference was held in Mogadishu to address returning control of the country's security to Somali forces. And the main objective is how we can cooperate and put all our efforts to make ends meet in ensuring the objectives that are expected out of us is delivered in the best manner that can support us in stabilizing this uh, nation. The African Union is due to end its mission in Somalia next year. We brainstormed and we tried to see how can we move from here onwards in terms of uh, strategizing on the best way to implement these decisions and have a more uh, stressed, a firm impact on the battlefield against uh, al shabaab Experts, however, have warned that the country's security forces aren't ready to go it alone. There's little trust between the public and local security officers in areas outside major cities. There have been clan conflicts in some regions and our soldiers have been involved. It's not the right time to hand over security to Somali forces. Afgoye and Marka are just some examples of where Somali forces have failed to maintain security on their own. A stabilization force comprising of police, intelligence, military and tactical units have made gains on the ground here in Mogadishu increasing security measures and disarming potential threats to peace and stability. But the latest blast has caused renewed concerns here in the capital, and experts say it's time authorities need to re-strategize. Abdulaziz Bilon, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.